So, because... In its last days of the committee stage, the proposed Alcoholic Drinks Control Bill 2023 has advanced to its course for existence. Along that item of Uganda Police Force has joined other stakeholders in adding their opinions in the new intended legislation. The bill is being handled by both the parliamentary committees of health and trade. We have seen that these bars are not in isolation. There is a bar here, around it there is a border border stage. A prominent clause in the bill is to regulate the time of sale and consumption of alcohol. The committee asked the security officials how the force is ready to implement this element. By the end of this session, if we pass the alcohol prevention and the control bill, it will be implemented. It will be enforced by the enforcement agency. Although the officers note that the abuse of alcohol has greatly contributed to high cases of domestic violence, traffic offenses, and other crimes in Uganda, the MPs wanted to understand the statistics guiding their explanations. In the absence of that, we can't take a decision in, uh, on speculation that it may be alcohol. Police encourage the sale of alcohol to be dominated by supermarkets than bars to ensure more use of alcohol from home settings. Say anything that impair, impairs somebody's mindset should be avoided. And then we allow people to drink from home. Then how then do we enforce such a law? Because but to implement the proposed new legislation, the officers decry inadequate manpower. Low capacity, we have gaps. I clearly stated that uh, it might be difficult to enforce the law in all areas in the same magnitude. However, the officials interested the committee on how the force is implementing on putting up sub-county police models for support and increase in numbers. If we are occupied with that number of personnel, with that number of uh, motorcycles, then identification and monitoring of bars within those areas becomes easy. Concerning enforcement on the bill, police cite how this needs collaborative efforts and it will work with other agencies to make sure enforcement are put in place. Lydia Chomkama and Gloria Gutaminji, Parliament. Uh, Deputy 